Угу. That is interesting. So that's the first. Let's try with another one. <laughs> yeah, would you imagine removing Dominator GT memory heat sinks without any tools? So you can see the epoxy glue, it's pretty much all over the place. I might need to use the plastic. Okay, so uh, Giggles from Germany, he um, he gave me a little bit wrong uh, guidance. So uh, he told me to use turpentine, but the stuff I used in the previous video was actually uh, mineral spirit. So turpentine is always taken from like conifer trees. Mineral, the so-called like mineral turpentine here in Finland is actually like a chemically made uh, like a solvent, so it's not turpentine. It's the exact translation would be like mineral spirit. So now I used thinner. We call this thinner in uh, Finland. So this is just for like thinning paint. So uh, I'm not sure what like uh, substance substances. Uh, this includes, but definitely use the so-called thinner. I will uh, try to link some uh, specific examples in the description box of this video. So uh, with the mineral spirit, I always had to use the uh, plastic uh, lever, or how do you want to call this? And uh, now I can remove the heat sinks with just fingers, so no tools at all. So here again, this was one of the sticks from Tabao, which was broken. See. <laughs> yeah, that's how you remove RAM heatsinks the easy way, part two.